Hey guys, Rashad here from rnbsinglessons.com. All right, I got um, one of my songs that I really love. Angels brought me here. Another person doing it, JV Decina or Dakina. I'm not sure how to say it. Uh, excuse my face. I got. <laughs> excuse my face. That sounds funny. I got my wisdom tooth removed, so I can't talk like properly, fully, and I can't. I can't sing, so I won't be singing. I can sing, but you know, but I can't like fully open my mouth properly. My mobility is not that good yet. It's still healing. I got it out on Wednesday, and it's now Saturday. But um, it's all good. It's healing as as necessary or whatever. I seen the dentist again, and he said it's all good. So um, I just I really wanted to watch some videos. So I thought I'd watch the videos, but I might just ease up on the um, singing and stuff when I do analysis. So here we go. Wish 1075. It's been a long and winding journey, but I'm finally here tonight. Yeah. Picking up the pieces, walking back into the light, into the sunset of your glory, where my heart and future lies. There's nothing like that feeling When I look into your eyes My dreams came true When I found you I found you My miracle If you could see
Liverpool exclusive. All right, let's do a little bit of analysis. Here we go. I love that. Now, let me just check the key first of this song. Wish 1075. Let's see what key it's in. Mm -hmm. oh, it's the original key. Try to be loud. Yeah, it's B flat, the high note. So just checking that's the same. Pretty sure that's the same as the um, the original. Guy Sebastian, he just brought me here. Yeah, same note. Very nicely done. Just checking if it's in the same key. It's got excellent range. All right, let's go over part by part. One oh seven five. He's got a little bit faster vibrato than the usual guys that I um that I listen to, so that's something a little bit different. A little bit more wobbly. One oh seven five. Yeah, there's like a slight different kind of wobble on it. Maybe he like. When he bounces, he, he goes a bit further than the other artists that and we normally listen that I normally do, like um Michael Pungilinan and JR. his vibrato is a little bit more so it has that extra bouncy feel to it, or fasterish kind of sound. Not my preferred vibrato, but um it's still nice and he does control the evenness very well. And he does um he can slow it down a bit because he slows it down on some of the more epic holding holding parts. So it's more on some of the faster phrases, I think, that he tends to do that sort of vibrato. Nice start. It's been a long and winding journey, but I'm finally here tonight. Sounds great here. If you Beautiful, it's here. that's perfect for brother there, really nice there. Just like the other artists that we listen to, same kind of style on the U. Uh, Guy doesn't even do a vibrato on that phrase, so he's kind of adding that, and it's nice, it makes it sound a little bit different. Can't see what I see. Nice, really nice straight turn there too. Um, on the hold. That's stunning. That's really nice. Beautiful falsetto blend. That slide. And so really beautifully. And so so you're the answer. I'm doing it an octave below. So super slowly it's and so but really quickly. So if you measure it on the piano, it'll be F sharp four in the um, in chess sound. And I'm doing it an octave below because I can't sing high right now. So starts the falsetto on the G, and then slides up to an A4. So it'd be chest falsetto, chest blend here. And so that's how you would train it to get that same kind of thing there. Really nice. He does that a lot throughout. So I'm just going to point it out mainly this major one time. Lovely. He's doing a really nice thing. Yeah. You would know. Standing here before you. Notice how the song drops really low, so it goes from really high, then all of a sudden drops standing here to that like very speaking kind of a range. 
Sorry, this is playing up here. It's never done that before. All right. Every heart would speak your name. A bit of growl there. <laughs> Doing some of that growls. My dreams came true right here in front. Beautiful. That's a really hard run. I think he kind of skips one of the notes, but he does it really close. Really nice. Yeah, he skips one note. Listen to a guy do it. He does it very close though. It's a very hard run. There's one more note there. Six notes there. J JV does. He just skips a little bit there. Yeah, see a difference? Just a, just a little bit different. Sounds like there's a little bit more going on when it goes. Yeah. <laughs> just that, there's a little extra. Oh, of course, I'm not putting him down. He's amazing. But, you know, just these little details, just comparing to the original. Because uh, well, like when I teach, I notice, you know, even singers, because I get some singers that are amazing like this that I teach. And it's usually when it comes to these super hard runs that they'll maybe miss a little bit. You know what I mean? That's where I'll fill in those gaps so that they can sound exactly like the artist that they're trying to copy. And then so fill in those little tiny gaps where they're missing those notes. Some people are just naturally gifted and they can hear all the notes. They don't need any help. And some people just need a little bit of help to identify those notes. And just another note. A lot of the time when I teach some of my students, sometimes they don't believe me. Like I tell them, there's more notes there. And they'll be like, are you sure? And I slow it down for them. And they're like, oh yeah. <laughs> so it, it, it's weird because like you listen to songs all your life for 10 years or whatever and you never notice these things and then suddenly someone's showing you look there's these details there and it, the same thing happened to me when I started breaking down songs I was like whoa well, is this all the notes that are happening is that for real am I ever going to be able to sing that <laughs> you see what I see Nice, showing his big chest there. Really nice. Jealous, that's really nice. Belt. A little bit of accent in here with the T. A bit, a bit hard on the T. Um, they don't really do that when they sing English songs. So that's probably like a Filipino taglish sort of a thing. So yeah, watch out for those hard T's on the brought. You don't have to say the T so hard. Brought. It's very subtle, but yeah, it's a bit tricky to learn, but that's all if I was going to say. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny accent thing there. So I'm guessing he's grown up in Philippines. Yeah, yeah he doesn't do it there, so it's perfect there. Nice changes, I like the changes he's doing. Nice how we'll bring it down soft and tender again there. That was hot. That was really nice. Really nice. If you nice key change. Sometimes it's hard to sing the key change properly, especially when it breaks the way it just broke. Like this in the music just stops. And then you have to sort of oh, what key is it? And you have to go into the new key by yourself without really assistance. And that's super hard. He kills out there. He did that really nicely. Key change is usually easier when the music key changes, but you're still singing a note. That's kind of easier because you can memorize the note. But when you have to stop, it's like you have to memorize the note of the key change, which is a little bit harder because you have to actually stop. So it's a bit different. Just pointing that out there. That's really hard. He killed that. Hey, 
Mm, yeah, really powerful on that answer. That's the A. That's the B flat. Really nice. It's the same note that he's going to hold later. He's adding a lot of growling there, like a bit of a different style there to the guy, which is nice. It makes it sound a bit more original. Really nice slide. See how he slides slide right the angels were on me. Hear that? That was really nice. So it's G sharp into A sharp or yeah, A flat into B flat. Really nicely done. Ooh, beautiful vibrato ending. Really nice. Nice, I didn't even stop and just went into the, the next run. That was incredible. Very close. He, he did it very close to Guy. A little bit different, but really, really similar. Let's hear it. So the main the main difference is the, the vowels, maybe. And it just makes it sound a little bit different. Check it out. So he stayed on the O nearly most of the way through and then just changed on the OO into the OO at the end. But Guy actually does a bit something. He goes into the O oh, 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 a bit earlier. So, oh, 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 like a bit of mouth, mouth shapes earlier. Changes the feel a little bit. Oh, so close and I admire that he can figure that he can get that like so close because I actually spent a lot of time studying this run because it used to do my head in because I'd be like what is guy doing there it's absolutely incredible so it's so close it's really cool that he can get it that that close to it but yeah just pointing out the little tiny differences from how it's a little bit different to what guys doing <laughs> He didn't really take a breath. He stopped for a second there, but it didn't sound like he took a breath. That's a really long phrase, man. That is hectic. Stamina. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he didn't take a breath. That was hot. Look, he knows he killed it. <laughs> Look at that face there. It's like looking straight at the camera. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> the falsetto transition in the end of it. Back to the softer, yeah. And if you could feel. Yeah, I love that. Thanks for sending me that, guys. Um, I'll catch you next time. I'm Richard Hayek. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope my face didn't distract you too much. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't sing too much. All right, see you next time. Bye.